Cortex gyro kicking in, the double click there. Do you need the gyro on this model or do you just find it's, it's nice and smooth, just smooths her out? It smooths it out. Yeah. You, know, you don't get the, uh, the rock of the delta. Right. So tell the armchair critics that you don't need a gyro, it doesn't fly the model for you, it just smooths the flight characteristics out. Yeah. There you go people, so don't keep putting stupid questions on you. Yeah. Okay, so that's starting up, it's a Kero start, so starting up on the plug. Right. And it'll switch over in a second. And the gyro doesn't assist at all there. Um, it just you up, really. Yeah. I mean, the, the gyro instructions call for you to switch the exponential off. <coughs> fly with zero exponential, but I kind of go for a half and half and fly with about 25%. Because it tends to give you a nice, slow sort of a roll. Yeah. Yeah, it's there if you bang it on. Thank you. Oh, 
spot it on there. Everyone wants to see you. That'll break the lens. <laughs> I'll break that too. Oh, because of the drag, what with the ordnance as well, I suppose. Yeah, but uh, you go from half throttle in full fl in flight with the gear up to two thirds throttle with the gear down. Really? Christ. That's full throttle? Almost full throttle, no, you can still around two thirds throttle. See that gyro did that all for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I leave the radio in the car. <laughs> What we're doing here, Dave, is showing us how the gyro works. Yeah, just showing how right. the functionality is. So we're on the Elevons first. <clears throat> well, I can't really lift it that easily. I'll give it a try. But so the idea is if the right wing was to drop in flight, you'll instantly get a, a correction where the aileron goes down on its own. It's yep. counter for that. Just go max gain there. So you can see the right aileron goes down yep. and the left aileron goes up, which instantly dampens any um, twitching. It's easier to show on the rudder probably. Right. So if I lift the nose, let's say that the rudder, that the nose was to kick left, yep. you instantly get that right, right uh, rudder yep, to yep. compensate. And if yep. the nose was to go right, you get the left rudder. Right. So basically it's a shock absorber. Right. Do you have it on the canards or just purely on those? The canard works on the elevator, yep. So if the nose was to pitch up on its own, it's a bit hard to see, but yeah, you can see it, yeah. I could try going the other way, actually. So, there we go. You can see it sort of kicks up and comes back down a bit uh -huh, slower. Yeah. So the nose kicks up, canard goes down. So for all you armchair critics, the gyros are simply there to smoothen out the flight characteristics. They don't fly the model for you. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely Thanks, Dave. Not. Appreciate that. <laughs> no. Lovely. Nice flight. Thank you.